These days, we all know there's so much information coming at us with the internet and the twinternet and the skynet. <laughs> Receiving all this data is like drinking from a fire hose. And my goal for this show is to curate that massive information coming at you every day and narrow it down to only everything in the universe. <laughs> this is Focus on the Universe. This is the universe, home of the Whopper. I'm your host, Stephen DeGrasse Colbert. Yes. DeGrasse. Turns out you can't copyright a middle name. Here aboard my ship of the imagination, the Green Screen 5000. We are freed from the constraints of space and time using these controls a warp field neuralizer, and a hot glued speaking spell. <laughs> we can travel anywhere our imagination leads us, as long as my graphics team can crank it out in an afternoon. <laughs> Together, my vest and I will explore all the wonders of space. The rings of Saturn. The Crab Nebula. The old HBO logo. Significant. Tonight. 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 We visit our neighbor, Mars. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Oh, no, about that. Sorry. I, oversh I overshot it a little bit. Let me just, let me just back up. <laughs> and we arrive at the red planet, Mars. Named for the ancient Roman god of war's favorite candy bar. <laughs> Mars has long been thought of as an arid, dusty hellscape where no one would want to live which is why it's often called the Tucson of space. <laughs> but an exciting discovery has been made on Mars. Box office magic for Matt Damon. <laughs> also, also, NASA scientists recently announced that they have found flowing water on Mars thanks to the seasonal changes in dark streaks shown here, which are known as recurring slope lineae, because that sounds so much nicer than planetary stretch marks. <laughs> so, how can there be water on Mars? Evidence suggests that during the nighttime, the surface of the planet becomes covered with salty puddles. But where do these amazing pools of incredible liquid unbelievably come from? Our top puddle theorists believe that despite temperatures that reach 60 below zero, vapor from Mars's atmosphere mixes with salt from Martian soil to form a liquid brine. Which means if Mars is ever colonized by hipsters, the pickles will be amazing. <laughs> now, these salty puddles first came to my attention in a CNN.com article with the headline, Mars Weeps at Night. <laughs> this discovery raises so many questions like, is there life on Mars? What does this mean for man's place in the universe? And is everything okay with a headline guy at CNN? <laughs> Seriously, buddy, you're worrying us. Mars weeps at night? I assume you were just being poetic, but those of us who love you are worried we'll start seeing headlines like Jupiter and Io locked in loveless marriage. <laughs> Space shuttle seems cold and distant after returning from business trip or black hole drags friends and family into a bottomless spiral of codependency. Well, that's it for Focus on the Universe. Remember, take it a moment every day to gaze up at the stars and contemplate what it means to be human. Not only is it awe-inspiring, but it adds an element of danger to your drive home from work.